Hi everyone. I'd like to share with you a little devotion on this Monday, Thursday. And what I'd like to share with you is from the Gospel of John, chapter 18. Uh, some of the beginning verses there, verses 3 to 6. So Judas came to the garden, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said, and Judas the traitor was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. You know, we don't know what Jesus did on Wednesday of Holy Week, but we know quite a bit about what happened on Thursday. On Thursday, we know Jesus did things like celebrate the Passover with his disciples. Uh, we know that he spoke to his disciples at length. He instituted the Lord's Supper. He prayed in Gethsemane. He was arrested. But notice what happened here. When Judas came to arrest Jesus, we're told that he was guiding a detachment of soldiers. These were Roman soldiers. And as I understand it, a detachment of of soldiers in the Roman army system was one-tenth of a legion. A legion was 6,000 soldiers, so you can do the math. One-tenth, 600 soldiers. Now, maybe they weren't all on, on duty at that time, but this wasn't six soldiers. 100, 200, 300 at least. And they're carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. They're coming in um, like the SWAT team. They're coming in to arrest somebody who is leading a rebellion. And he's got 12 guys with him. One of them defected to us and, they, and, and told us about the plot. They're coming in on high alert to arrest Jesus. Notice two things here. First of all, Jesus knows that they're coming. He knows what they're doing. He knows everything that's going to happen. But secondly, when he told them who he was, what happened? What happened to all those soldiers? They fell to the ground. Why? Jesus made them fall to the ground. Which teaches us something really important. If Jesus didn't want to be arrested, did he have to be? Not at all. Jesus was still in control. And he could have walked away at any point. If Jesus wanted to, he could have called upon legions and legions of angels to come to his side and destroy those soldiers. He, he could have had the ground open up and swallow all the soldiers. He could have had lightning fall from the sky and destroy them. But he doesn't. And this t teaches us something about our God. Jesus willing, willingly went into suffering and death. Jesus wanted to go to the cross and pay for the sins of the world. Jesus wanted to pay the wages of your sins in full and completely. And if Jesus did that for you, Will he not also then constantly be with you, watch over you, protect you, guide things in order to take you to heaven to be with him forever? Absolutely. I'm thankful, sir, for such a willing Savior. And so are you.